Hey guys, welcome to Enzyme Mental. Before we begin, hit that subscribe button below and click the bell so you don't miss any notifications. And today I'm going to detail how excessive consumption of sugar and refined carbs greatly impairs the body's absorption of vitamin C. Vitamin C is similar in structure to glucose. Also, vitamin C uses the same receptor sites as glucose does to enter the cell membrane. This means that if you eat sugar excessively, you will absorb far less vitamin C than if you weren't. Both glucose and vitamin C depend on insulin from the pancreas to enter the cell, but glucose has a much greater affinity for the insulin receptor than vitamin C does, so the more circulating blood sugar there is, the less vitamin C will enter the cell, and this deficit hinders the immune response. When our white blood cells encounter invading bacteria and viruses, they need to ingest these invaders to neutralize them. This is why the white blood cells carry exponentially more vitamin C than blood plasma does. Vitamin C also stimulates a series of chemical reactions known as the hexose monophosphate shunt, which, among other things, facilitates the proper enzymatic breakdown of glucose, which is otherwise known as glycolysis. Excess sugar and carb consumption inhibits this process. Our white blood cells also depend on the HMP shunt to produce the metabolic sugars ribose and deoxyribose for proper DNA and RNA production, along with the reactive oxygen species necessary to destroy pathogens. When there's an invading microbe and an excess of glucose, there won't be enough vitamin C to fuel the necessary DNA and RNA needed to create new immune cells. While it's unfortunately popular to consume vitamin C as sugar-sweetened chewables, gummies, or powders, people who regularly consume vitamin C this way don't really benefit from it that much. In fact, what the attractive marketing of these sugar-sweetened vitamin C preparations don't tell you is that if you take their products regularly, you'll need even more vitamin C to neutralize the oxidation you're getting from the sugar. Also, remember that the one place in the body that stores vitamin C is the adrenal glands, and heavy sugar consumption is already a well-known stressor that can rapidly deplete your already overworked adrenals. Vitamin C is critical for normal production of the stress hormone cortisol, which helps to stabilize blood sugar during stressful situations. So if you're taking vitamin C regularly, one nearly immediate benefit is that vitamin C will decrease the confusion, irritability, dizziness, anxiety, and sugar cravings that typically signify low blood sugar. Also, regular intake of vitamin C improves the body's ability to utilize stored fat as fuel. So this alone should inspire you to ditch the flavored vitamin C and just take it either as a capsule or an unsweetened powder. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy.